the experience of the sacrament of reconciliation is exactly that. It's a time of reconciliation. It's a time in which we admit our faults, but with a sense of God's mercy and seeking to be restored. And it's, a, it's an act of hope, an, an act of crying out to God, Lord, forgive me, because I know that you want more for me, and I want more for myself. And I don't want this thing that I'm holding on to to get in the way. And that's really, really ultimately what the Sacrament of Reconciliation is about. It's about not just mending our relationship with God, but even strengthening it. Because even to go to the sacrament, even to walk in those that rooms, and whether you're looking face to face with the priest or not, just by going, you've already accepted God's invitation. Because that's where it begins. It's the Holy Spirit stirring within your heart, saying, you know, there's this thing that you're holding on to and you don't need to hold on to it anymore. Let go. And by not ignoring that, but saying, you know what, Lord, you're right. And I trust in you. And by choosing to go to the sacrament, we've put out our hands and received his. And we go to the sacrament so we can hear those words expressed that your sins are forgiven and to go in peace, once again healed and restored, restoring your own faith in God as well as your hope for yourself. And you've built that relationship because he put out the invitation and you accepted it. So that's why people go, not because they're afraid of something, but because of what they long for.